In this video, we will show you how to file a cigarette distributor and importer tax report. We protect all the confidential information you provide to us. Go to the website cdtfa.ca.gov and at the top, click on Login. That will take you to the online services login page. You must log in with a username and password. For assistance with creating a username and password, please watch our tutorials online. On the CDTFA Online Services login page, we will enter our username and password. Then click Login. On the Online Services Profile page, under the Accounts tab, we will click on the Cigarette Distributor and Importer hyperlink. This will take us to the Cigarette Distributor and Importer Account page. Under the Periods tab, click on the reporting period for which you would like to file. In our example, we will select the report for the May 2020 period, which is displayed by its return end date of May 31, 2020. After selecting the reporting period, you will arrive at the Method of Filing screen where you will select the appropriate method to file your cigarette distributor importer report. In our example, we will select the electronic form entry, which is the most common method used for filing this report. After selecting the method of filing, we will then click Next to continue. You will be brought to the initial questions and file attachment page to answer a question regarding your reporting activity. If you received, dispersed, and or stamped any product during the month, you will select Yes. Selecting Yes requires you to complete a CDTFA-810 Dash CTF disbursement and or a CDTFA-810 CTI receipt schedule using the flat file attachment. Note, if you stamped product, make sure to include tax jurisdiction code F in your flat file attachment. To create a flat file, you can use the Cigarette Distributor Excel workbook located on the CDTFA website. Click here to download a copy of the Excel workbook. Once downloaded, simply follow the instructions provided in the workbook. For additional instruction on file preparation and other information related to cigarette online filing, please visit the CDTFA website. Once you have created your flat file, you will attach the file using the Add button. After selecting Add, you will select the type of file you are adding from the drop-down. For our example, we will select the Cigarette Tax Flat File. May 2020 periods and after. After selecting the file type, enter a description for your file. For our example, we have entered a description for our file as May 2020 filing period. Upon entering your description, choose the correct file to upload. In our example, we have chosen the flat file titled Cigarette Distributor and Importer Example.txt. Click Save after adding your flat file. We will then click Next to continue. On the Cigarette Stock and Tax Summary page, you will begin by reporting the total number of cigarettes, both without stamps affixed and with stamps affixed, that were held in your inventory on the first day of the reporting period. If this is your first report, you will leave these amounts as zero. If this is not your first report, the amount should be pre-filled and match the figures entered for your ending inventory on your previous month's report. For this example, we had 1 million cigarettes without stamps affixed and 2 million cigarettes with stamps affixed in our beginning inventory. The total number of cigarettes that were received during the reporting period with and without stamps affixed will be automatically populated with the figures entered on your uploaded flat file. Once you have finished entering your inventory at the beginning of the reporting period, you will then enter the number of cigarettes held in your inventory on the last day of the reporting period. In this example, we will enter an ending inventory of 700,000 cigarettes without stamps affixed and 650,000 cigarettes with stamps affixed. Exempt distributions or product that was returned or destroyed represent non-taxable transactions. These amounts will be automatically populated with the figures entered on your uploaded flat file. If you choose, you can save your work at any time by clicking the Save Draft button. Enter your password and click OK to save. You will then be directed to a confirmation page. Now that you've saved your draft, let's go back to filing your report. Click the Continue Editing button. After completing the cigarette stock 
and Tax Summary page, click Next to continue filing. On the Stamp Account for Calendar Month page, you will begin by reporting the tax value of unaffixed stamps and the tax value of stamps affixed to packages that were held in your inventory on the first day of the reporting period. If this is your first report, you will leave these amounts as zero. If this is not your first report, the amount should be pre-filled and match the figures entered for your ending inventory on your previous month's report. For this example, we had $143,500 of unaffixed stamps and $287,000 of stamps affixed to packages in our beginning inventory. In our example, we purchased two large rolls of stamps during the month for $172,200. We will then enter the tax value on any cigarettes purchased with stamps already affixed. In our example, the tax value of tax paid cigarettes received was $71,750. After entering the tax value of your stamp beginning inventory, stamp purchases, and tax paid cigarettes received, you will then enter the tax value of stamps held in your inventory on the last day of the reporting period. In this example, we will enter an ending inventory value of $265,475 of unaffixed stamps and $93,275 of stamps affixed to packages. Click Next to continue. Review your summary page. If you need to make an adjustment, click Previous. To print a draft of your report prior to submission, click on the Saved Draft button below. Enter your password and click OK. You will then be directed to the Draft Confirmation page. To print a draft of your return, click Print Return. When you click Print Return, the return will open as a PDF. You would then print the PDF to your printer. In this example, we will not print a draft. To go back to filing your report, click the Continue Editing button. After confirming the information displayed on the summary page is correct, click Next. On the Your Information page, Enter the required information, then click Submit. When you click Submit, a window will appear to confirm your intent to file electronically and that your report is true, correct, and complete. Please read the information carefully. Enter your password and click OK to submit. This will serve as your authorization and confirmation. You will not receive a confirmation email. This confirmation page represents your report filing. We recommend that you print this page or take note of your confirmation number for your records. To print your submitted return, click on the Print Return button. If you still have questions, please call our Customer Service Center at 1-800-400-7115, California Relay Service at 711.